USB-C has been a great change for the iPhone and for Apple in general. If you mix and match your devices, not having to lunge around a lightning cable just to charge your phone, especially when traveling, is a major win in pretty much any way you look at this. However, Apple had a great opportunity to go above and beyond and disrupt the already kind of established USB-C market and um, they didn't do much better than any Android manufacturer. And honestly, they did substantially worse than already Android was doing. Before we go any further though, let me talk to you about today's video sponsor, CookTech. CookTech have the 10 GAN charger, and this is perfect for charging all of your devices, and it doesn't matter if they're Android or Apple. First off, this charger can give you up to 100 watts of power, and even with all that power, it's actually 27% smaller than Apple's 96 watt charger. The charger actually has two USB-C ports, which individually can give you up to 100 watts of power. And there's also a USB-A charging port here, so you can charge all of your devices at the same time with no issues. Because of that 100 watts of power, that means in just 30 minutes, it can actually charge an iPhone 16 Pro Max to 58%. But it's not just great for charging phones because the charger can even top up a 16 inch MacBook Pro to 44% in just the same 30 minute period. And the charging brick even has a textured grip for easily handling. And it's small enough that you can pop this into your bag no matter where you're going. If you need a stylish and compact charger that can charge multiple devices at the same time, then CookTech have you covered. And if you fancy picking one of these up yourself, just check the description below for some links. There's no doubt that Apple moving every single device to USB-C has been a net positive for everyone. But at the same time, it's just surprisingly confusing to understand which devices support which kind of USB-C. Like for example, if you have a regular iPhone, somehow in their infinite wisdom, Apple has pretty much just said, you know what? USB 2.0 speeds for transferring files are plenty. 480 megabits a second, uh, that's, that's good enough for the regular iPhones. And you know what, charging, they have big batteries and they have decent battery life. So what about 20 watts as a maximum for charging? And they just stopped it there. And for the pro models, it is better, particularly when it comes to the transferring of files, stopping up at 10 gigabits a second. But charging speeds are still a meager 30-ish watts and pretty much not going much more above that. And I feel like that's a big miss. And if you look at the rest of the lineup, iPads offer a combination of Thunderbolt features, so faster, even faster transfer speeds, but not really in all iPads, only for the Pro models. And the full Thunderbolt you can pretty much only get on the top of the line MacBooks and the top of the line iPads with an M4 chip and it really is confusing which device supports what and I think like when you think about Apple whether you like them or not it's the it just works kind of um, way of doing things and here it's like it just works I guess it's better than having just a completely different cable but when it comes to the feature set it's still just as confusing as it ever was when it comes to cables when it comes to data transfer speeds it's just it's just a mess and honestly I think it's kind of a mess on purpose like I feel like they were forced to adopt USB-C and they just did it and in certain devices that's likely a change that's gonna stay but the fact that they have improved their MagSafe yet again to offer even faster charging speeds this time around I feel like that's a good indication of the inevitable portless iPhone that's definitely gonna be allowed on just European soil with no problem. It's all about if you have a port, it has to be USB-C on a mobile device. And if you don't have a port, I feel like that's, that's just free game. So any chance of having, for example, the Samsung super fast charging with USB-C PPS, 
I don't see that happening. I don't see them trickling down those sorts of iterative improvements that over a couple of years result in transformative change. I feel like, like they're just going to coast until they are confident enough that MagSafe is going to cover them and they're just going to ditch the port altogether. Like, can you imagine a world where Apple just said, you know what? F it, we're gonna just pretty much revolutionize USB-C with, we offer one cable, call it the iCable, the Apple cable, whatever it is, and that pretty much covers you whether you want to do 40 gigabits a second over Thunderbolt, or you want to do DisplayPort output, or you want to do fast charging, or you want to do all of them, one cable. It comes in the box, yes, it's more expensive, yes, it would be a thicker cable and lose some flexibility but wouldn't that be great just one cable what cable do you have oh i have the apple cable and it'll just be one would it be obnoxious absolutely but would have been just objectively better than every single android manufacturer has been doing for years and than apple is currently doing now absolutely i feel like the inherent confusion of having a single port that looks the same from the outside that can do drastically different things depending on what's inside of the device and the cable i feel like that's terrible i feel like that's surprisingly confusing and a ton of people might never really know what they're missing out if they have a bad cable or if they have a lower end iphone they just think oh it's usb-c it's going to do the same and um yeah i feel like that's terrible i feel like apple had a golden opportunity and they just decided you know what we're good and i feel like that's not good enough okay that was a short one. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to read an article about this entire topic, we'll leave that down in the description as we pretty much just like to think about these sorts of things and how they can impact the future of mobile devices. Okay, that's been a great one and um, I'll see you very soon. Bye.